was sitting there on the couch and then it was just like, you know, that moment before you drop over on the roller coaster. And I was just like sitting there like, oh no, it's happening. What's up guys, it's Cal Mokez. Today we're gonna to be talking about my first shroom trip. FBI, open up! How do I start this? <laughs> okay. I'm not condoning the use of any of these substances ever. Just an experience for educational purposes, let's say. <laughs> I have been into psychedelics for a long time, even before I had ever done any of them. My experience with psychedelics started when I was researching them. I believe I saw the film DMT, The Spirit Molecule, and I was like, man, I gotta get into that. Like, you know, I, I had finally, Astro projected and I was like, yo, like I gotta search more into this. Like if it's actually a gateway into another dimension, like maybe I wanna experience that. Are you sure about that? I was just coming off of like learning to astral project more. I had done DMT at this point, so I was like, yo, I think I can handle shrooms. I was still trepidatious about it. I don't even think that's the right word. <laughs> I was going into it and I was like, is everything gonna be okay? Is it gonna work? And I was just nervous, you know, because it lasts so much longer than DMT. DMT is like 15, 20 minutes, but shrooms is like six hours. <laughs> if I'm going to have a trip that's going to be six hours, I want it to be good the whole six hours. I don't want to have a bad trip for six hours. Like, who wants that? That's crazy. One of my buddies hit me up. He was like, yo, you need to watch this Joe Rogan podcast episode where he's uh, talking to, like, I think his name is Stamets, Paul Stamets. I think, don't quote me on that. I think that's his name. But he's like the big shroom guy. He's like a researcher and shit. I watched it and he just made like the hero's journey so much cooler when you think about like taking shrooms. <laughs> he said, he's like, I took like this crazy amount and there was like, I was seeing lightning strike these prisms. And I was like, all right. Okay, so I said to the universe, if you bring shrooms to me, if you make it available and present it to me, I'm not gonna look for it, but if you present it to me, I'll know that it's time to do it. Lo and behold, it was presented to me <laughs> and I was not ready. <laughs> We're like, okay, this is destined to happen. We gotta set up a time and a place. And Cause I knew all this stuff before. I was like, set and setting, set and setting. Like it has to be perfect. I'm not gonna have a bad trip. Like this is gonna be good. I had recently been watching Terrence McKenna and his stories about like the heroic dose. Never, <laughs> never would I have imagined taking that much. Maybe one day I'll do it and I'm just gonna be like, Throw caution to the wind, and that may be the last video you guys see of me. <laughs> I've got all this stuff in my brain, like I'm ready, like I'm hyped. We're doing this thing right, so we thought. I took like three caps, I think, three decent sized caps. It took maybe 30 minutes, and then the giggles set in, where everything was funny, like we were laughing at literally everything. One person would look at the other and be like, <laughs> we just crank it up over nothing and then out of nowhere my buddy is like you see the carpet and i'm like yeah what about it doesn't look like it's breathing right as he said that the carpet was like oh, oh my god <laughs> what the hell's going on <laughs> i had a whole playlist of music too so i was like running through these these songs and stuff i even had the bad trip playlist where if i was having a bad trip i'd play some songs and it would get me out of it i was ready for this experience bro i was ready <laughs> comes a point where I start to notice that the edges of the room were shimmering. Like someone just took like like a highlighter to everything, like, like glittered everything, like every edge was sparkling and then colors got really vibrant. And so I got up, I went into my kitchen by myself. You know, I was getting antsy. I was like, oh, I'm starting to feel it. So I had to get up and do something. And then the colors got even more vibrant. It was just like instant euphoria. Everything was bright. Everything was vivid, like, like a super, super real dream everything turned into. As I was looking at everything, it was like a fish eye lens with the whole room. And then the next thing you know, I hear this voice in my head, clear as someone standing right next to me. It was like, things are pretty weird, huh? I was like, yeah. <laughs> And then I was like, wait, who said that? Who are you? <laughs> and I go back into the living room and I'm like, I just heard a voice talking to me. And everyone just starts cracking up. <laughs> and then it was just like, you know, that moment before you drop over on the roller coaster. And I was just like sitting there like, oh no, it's happening. 
Like I could feel the, the essence of the trip I'm about to say, all right, now it's time for some hard stuff. This dip just happened and it was like pressure, intense terror, like awful. I wouldn't wish that fear on anyone, but it was like, it was horrifying, just horrifying terror. It just, it lasted for at least 30 seconds to a minute. And you know, I was like, oh my God, oh, this is terrible. And you know, I got my phone and I was like, God, the playlist. <laughs> And I put on the music. I was like, the music. Everybody's like, chill out, dude. You're fine. <laughs> and like, I, I looked at the TV screen. And if you guys have a Roku TV, you know that like Roku's, like they have a background that kind of moves and it's like a cityscape, you know? And like the cityscape kept going off my screen. It's like, as I'm watching it, it's like, I could see the city still off my screen. I was like, what is going on here? And the walls are breathing extra crazy. Like our, our air conditioner was on and I could see the wind lines coming out of it. <laughs> now I had set an intention before that I wanted to experience some cool stuff. Specifically have a nostalgic event. Like I wanted nostalgia to be in the trip. So we went outside and right when we stepped outside, like just the darkness of the sky and the stars, and like how the street lights were illuminating the street, just like instant nostalgia. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> like, it just looks so cool. And I'm like seeing colors and things swimming around in my eyes and like patterns and shit. Maybe like 30 minutes later, things like taper out and like I feel kind of normal again. Colors went back to normal. The fish eye lens look of everything kind of faded off. And I told myself, I am not going to do shrooms again for a long time. <laughs> like, like I'm happy being sober. I feel like I got the most out of the experience. I'm good. So that was my experience uh, for my first time taking shrooms. If you guys enjoyed that video, go ahead and leave a like. It helps other people to see it. Subscribe if you want to guide where this channel goes and suggest new videos and stuff like that. And as always, guys, never stop adventuring.